Shall we begin? Let's begin now. Right, what we've got today, we have the Chevrolet C15 TA and this is an armoured truck. Uh, it's from IBG, uh, as uh, Steve would say, one of my favourite companies, and it's 135th scale. This particular kit is actually going out to JJ, JJ99, because uh, JJ is going to start to do the first uh, build review. And he's just started up his channel, and I promised him that if he if he would get a video out, that I would send him a kit to start the ball rolling. Which, once I've finished here with this, it will be wheeling its way to him wherever he lives in the country. Right, uh, this is standard IBG box art, which I always love. Just nice and simple. I, I love these, I don't know if you call it watercolours or whatever, but I just love this this artwork anyway. Uh, nothing else on the box. IBG, don't go too mad on the box. Let will open up and see what we've got. Right, we have workshop manual, which we shall do in a minute. We have some decals, decals, transfers or stickers with a small photo fret. Right, we have two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve screws all together, which I'll just put down there for the second. And one screw of clear parts. Get rid of the box, and we'll go to the workshop manual. Right, I don't know if to bring that down a little bit. I'll just move it down. Make sure that's all nice and clear. That looks pretty good to me. Uh, right on the front of their workshop manual, call out to uh, Vallejo, uh, Mod Air, uh, mod, Model Colour, Black, Rust, Olive Drab, Normal Business, uh, Join of the, the Clear Sprue, uh, the grey areas are not parts you're not going to use, uh, the Photo Fret Edge, uh, telling you what they got in that one. Right, uh, to the first two pages, I like this because they always set out their their sprues, what you know, and you can see the numbers on them as well, which is uh, pretty cool. So at least if you, I've done it a couple of times, cut a part off and then realise you didn't need that one and gone back to it, and you're thinking, where's that part gone? Mm, you see. At least you can check. Right, uh, second one, rest of the sprues, wheels, as you can see that's uh, pretty sort of uh, self-explanatory. Right, first page, if you haven't seen IBG's books before, they are, I love them, they really are good, nicely set out. Uh, I like these because you you work individual units as you go through. Uh, John did uh, a kit. He didn't quite like it, but there again, it, you know, you, you have to adapt. You know, but if you if you're first time builder on one of these, stick to the steps. You know, yes, you've got a pile of little units, but all them units all do come together in the end. Right, uh, wheels. You now the wheels. IBG wheels, the two part. I've put quite a few together. I've never had no problem. They go together. The seam line sands out pretty well. 
we've actually got some uh, bending on this one to do uh, I don't know quite what these are the baskets uh, there must be some some type of storage unit for the actual uh, armoured truck engine their engines are always look nice they're well detailed and uh, when you get them together they really look nice I mean uh, can we no we can't see it right up there but uh, that, that's an IBG engine I'll tell you what let's see if I can't focus that in Not no light up the top here. It's not the thing, is it painful? Is it? Well, I've got a manual focus here. It's manual focus here. Their engines always come out. They really are, you know, for the price of the kit. Uh, they really do come out nice. Anyway, enough of that. Let's put them back on autofocus. But like I say, their engines always do come out nice. And if you want to spend a bit of time and doing a bit of detailing, they come out even better. Uh, second page, axles. Uh, it's nice to see on this one they've actually cut the amount of bits down on the axle. Uh, on the other ones, they've got a a few more bits which was a little bit tedious but now they've actually cut it down by the look of it by quite a few bits which is nice uh, over to the far side here uh, we've actually got some jerry cans on this one uh, the, the photo edge tow hitch and uh, so these, these are the sides or the fronts yeah these are the drivers drivers hatches And we've got about 45 staples in there. Someone's gone mad on the staples. Look, oh, talking about Tamiya staples, I've just been eaten by a, a, a an IBG staple. <laughs> Take them out before, before someone gets seriously <laughs> injured with these. <laughs> oh, look, loads of them. Yeah. Everyone's moaning about sta Tamiya. Look, it's, it's impaled me. Right. Uh, chassis always goes together nice with the uh, leaf springs I've, I've done quite a few now of IBG ones the sh like I say the chassis always goes together lovely it always looks nice uh, I've not even got one uh, in case anyone uh, that's one of the chassis uh, that I'm working on at the moment IBG one they always come out they, they are really are lovely nicely put together so if, it, if you're looking at this one and you're thinking it's, it's quite a few bits it's worth it's worth doing it's worth taking the time and doing it uh, engine if you follow the steps you have no problem uh, front drivers windows all nicely detailed I can't complain about uh, IBG's detailing sides I say follow the instructions and it will come out correct uh, like I say the only problems I've ever had has been the problems that I've created myself and not done what they've said so there you go on to the interior a well detailed interior by the look of it or the uh, crew seats you've got two four six seven eight including the driver eight seats I mean, to be honest with you, that looks pretty cool inside there. You can really uh, get that painted up and really look nice. Hmm. And on this one, you've got a slightly longer bonnet. You can actually have that bonnet open and show they do all the work on the engine and show the engine up. Or show it off, should I say. Yeah, that looks pretty cool, that does. And here we've got some finished uh, drawings. Which, to be honest with you, JJ, I don't think I, I don't think I'll send you this one. I think I'll keep some for myself. <laughs> that looks really nice. It really does. Oh, that's impressed me. That is. Well, they've been, they've told me that you don't take much to impress me. 
Uh, I never read Polish, so it's just a set out of uh, the different uh, units. And uh, like I say, they were used all, all through the Second World War. So, well, that's the uh, workshop manual. I shall. Sorry, JJ, I'll have to open these bags, mate. So I shall drop the camera down and uh, we'll have a closer look at the parts. Right, back to the first sprue. Now I've dropped it down nice and low so we can see exactly what's going on each sprue. Right, we've got the driver and passenger door nicely detailed, hinges, even the little square there look for the door handle, nicely done. Uh, vehicle side, nicely done again. Uh, do a little bit of uh, denting and scratching on that, but all nicely detailed. Far side, again. All nicely detailed, and it's something that John pointed out as well. They always seem to put these uh, sprue gates onto areas that you can just cut off and sand flat, and not in a place where you know it's going to be so difficult to get cleaned up. Right, uh, rear tow hitch. That's that bit there. Little fire extinguisher. Some little step. All nice and clean. Uh, that's part of the chassis, I would say. Yes, that's part of the chassis. And some foot plates. We'll turn it over onto the back side. Uh, for the interior, then doors all nicely uh, done with the handles, all nicely detailed. Inside as well, all nicely de detailed. No uh, ejector mean. Yeah ejector pin marks there. There's a few in the engine bay and depends if you open that engine bay open and I don't really know how much the engine would actually cover on that so they might be some uh, filling points if you wanted to show the engine off but uh, the rear half of it all all nicely done. I'll put that to one side and you're going to have to deal with the crinkling of paper because I'd like to put these back in the plastic for JJ when he gets them. Right, uh, I haven't got a clue what them bits are for, but uh, when the destructions are put together, you'll find out. Uh, front driver and passenger window, that's the rear plate uh, with the door in, all nicely detailed again. Uh, the floor, it's got some nice texturing on it. Uh, checker, well, checkerboard type thing, well, it's not checkerboard, it's more squares, but it's still right there. Uh, I don't know what that bit is. Uh, that's part of the engine, right there. All nice and clean, no flash. Uh, front mud guards, fenders, whatever you want to call them. All nicely done. Onto the underside. There's not many ejector mark pins there. There's a couple on that little box sticking down. And uh, they are raised so you can sand them down. Nicely done. Same on the back plate that's facing in. There's nothing on there. So you could make a nice job with the interior. There's a couple on the fenders just underneath, but you're not going to see them. And there's a couple inside them boxes, which you're not going to see them, because I would say they are glued to something. All right, that's, that's two sprues. I will just take them in order. And like I say, you have to excuse the, the noise of the plastic, because I want to put these all back in the boxes. All right. We have the driver and passenger side main shutter windows. I would say there'd be another plate that goes inside of that with some glass. Generally all little bits and pieces, side uh, shooting ports. Uh, gear knob, all nice and crisp, all nicely done. 
I have got no complaints at all. Actually, I don't think I've had a bad kit off IBG as so far. Right, on to the next sprue. Smaller parts. What have we got here? Is that just some. I don't want you to do it with my big fingers. No, it's just uh, plastic. That's no, alright. Don't be too serious. All nice parts, and you'll find all these parts will cut off nice and clean. I've never had even the thin parts. Even John, uh, John Moore, he was a bit worried about uh, doing the back cover, and even he said he just snipped them off. Left hardly no clean up. He was impressed. I was pleased about that. Our oh, John uh, steering wheel. Uh, front pulley for the engine. I'd say that's part of the exhaust system, and that is part of the exhaust system. Uh, other bits and bobs there. I don't quite know where all they go. Uh, probably the starter uh, and the uh, other bits and pieces for the engine, air breather. Right, that's uh, that one done. On to the next one. <coughs> Well, we have two sprues the same. We have, I would say, they're the back uh, rails for the carpooling to go over the back of the vehicle. All nicely done. The seats. Our seats, inject them up, pins underneath where you're not going to see them. I mean, they're not overly detailed. They are basic and um, I would say in a vehicle of this sort they would be extremely basic uh, didn't care too much for the troops uh, comfort and like I say there's two of them and they're exactly the same <coughs> excuse me Right, we've got some uh, good old Lee Enfield, more seats, uh, the centres to the wheels, brake drums, jerry can. I like that as it's got, I'll use a pointy stick, it's got the three uh, handles on to go on your jerry can, which is good because a lot of them they don't do the centre one and it looks a bit odd. So that's good. Um, Drive shafts. I mean, even the little drive shafts look that well detailed. Really are nicely detailed. Uh, brake drums, all nicely detailed. Lights with the slit in. Uh, a lot of the time they don't normally do the slit. They just do like a, a hollowy bit. Right, that's that one done. Is that sprue the same? I think it is. Yes, we've got. Oh. Another two sprues, exactly the same with the seat, and another jerry can, and bits and pieces. Mm. Right. We have got, <coughs> I don't know really what we've got here. It looks like all bits, I would say they're bits for the bonnet or hood. Uh, again, they're all nicely detailed. Nice little uh, shovel and tool in there. All nicely detailed. I quite like the look of that little shovel. It's nice. Uh, don't know what those, those bits are. I'm not even going to guess without looking at the assembly book. Probably be a little bit more, uh, get a little bit more idea. Pickaxe angle, some sort of tools. I say the shovel's nicely done. I like that shovel. I say that's some sort of uh, storage box. 
many parts. Oh, nice and crisp, nice and clean. Yep, I'm really happy with them. Actually, I'm more happy for JJ because uh, it's going to be his first build log, so I want it all to be pretty good for him. Uh, chassis, as you can see, well detailed on the chassis. They go together very well. They go together very well. Uh, axles, I mean, they they're detailed to what they should be, that's how they are and that's how they're detailed and which is really good uh, the leaf springs, I mean the leaf springs are nicely detailed as well uh, we've got the engine blocks here like I say their engines always go together lovely and then we've got quite a few little bits and pieces uh, we've got the manifold there for the engine, uh, split differential or split drive box, that's that this bit here. And the axle, we've got quite a few axles there, haven't we? Oh, oh yes, sorry, that's odd, sorry. Uh, a radiator, <coughs> which is nicely detailed as well. More than the leaf springs, I would say they're for the rear because they're slightly larger. Yeah, that's all. Oh, that's there's nothing wrong with that at all. To be honest with you, that is a lovely little kit. And I think uh, I'll be building one of these myself. I think. Nice little, nicely done. Right, uh, now we come to. <coughs> the decals, if I add them up the right way, the decals, decals, transfers or stickers, whatever you would like to call them, because I don't want to start an international scene over over these, they are pretty good, uh, they're pretty well tight to the actual uh, transfer, I won't get them out, uh, photo fret, uh, not too much. It would be nice for JJ to get him into uh, just doing some photo prep. There's not much there to be done. And any bending can be done with uh, a pair of tweezers. And that's what I like about these little photo frets. You don't have to have no complicated tools to, to do it. Right, that's that bit. And we haven't finished really. <coughs> because uh, we've got the wheels. I want to give it a packet. Like the wheels, they've got Goodyear on them. They're always beautifully detailed. They always manage to get these. Right, there's a little bit of flash on there, but uh, it's that thin. You can pull it off with your finger. But they're always well detailed, and they go together absolutely gorgeous. I've never, I've never had no problem. I've done laminated ones and everything else, but I find these go together so well. It's Glue them, click them, sand them, and they're done. And they look like a real thing. Also, if you want to put like a bit of weight, you can always sand just a small bit off the bottom here, just to give that impression of the uh, wheel. I mean, pressure on it. I mean, I, I know you can buy expensive resin ones that really look the part, but uh, there's no problem at all. All nice and detailed lettering. No problems at all. Brilliant. Uh, we did have a clear fret. What happened? What did I do with that? <coughs> we did have a clear fret. I've lost it now. I have. Uh, yeah. I have lost the clear fret. <laughs> no, I haven't. And it's still in the box. Right, here we go. Clear fret. <coughs> now, what can you actually say about clear fret except for their clear parts? And if you're not happy with the clear parts, 
Uh, get yourself some of that. that Blaze coat from uh, AK, fantastic stuff. And I'm pushing now different products. That is another good one. Uh, I gave some of this to John. He got on very well with it uh, for gluing your glass and that in. It, it's not like using your uh, cement. Uh, that dries clear. Right. That's all the pushing to that. Uh, thank you very much for joining me, and we'll see you. I'll see you in about another ten minutes because I've got I've got a couple more to do. Thank you very much. <laughs>